first I'd like to say thank you for Cinda, Shannon, Shauna, so many that made this happen. I've been really busy the last two or three weeks, so they did it all. Uh, Anika and Cinda texted me wherever I was um, while I was doing a little traveling, doing something else. So thank you for coming to see some of the work that I do. Uh, I think I do a little cross section of things. Um, I always love to do a touch of the South because that's where I'm from. Um, looking at some of the positive things about the culture that I grew up in. Um, I also love to, um, I guess they say my art is some ways a uh, activist um, part to it. I don't know, uh, but I do, I, my thing is, don't complain if you don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my thing is, something makes me upset, angry, and I'm saying, what can I do to amplify that? What can I do to make it better? Mm -hmm. And I've done projects, including films. I did a project called Ashes to Ashes, because I felt, I felt really bad about African Americans who were lynched and never had a burial. Um, so I did that, a film was made, uh, some of the etchings uh, posted here that you can look at. Um, other stuff that I've done, again, I don't like how America look at and treat black women, black men too, but I, I always said, my girls, they were black women. I, so I started a series of totes to showcase some of the phenomenal black women. Sure, the first idea was Ida B. Wells because after doing Ashes to Ashes and realizing what she did as a, I call her the anti-lynching queen, I felt people should know about her and what moved her to do what she did. She changed the definition about what happened with lynching and uh, she challenged the statement that lynchings were by black, not lynching by black men, but that the reason black men was lynched because they were rapists. And she did the, she was an investigative journalist and her work proved that that was not true. Um, the second is Shirley Chisholm. I love that first name. <laughs> <laughs> they call her Fighting Shirley. I like that too. <laughs> and that's the things that she did making sure you get a minimum wage. She worked for that. She's the first black female in Congress. She's a, uh, the black that, um, first black to run for president. And she did um, so many things, so many positive things to make this country a better place. So I've done, I'm doing that series. You can see a few of them here. And another thing I always did that I didn't like what we was made to feel about ourselves as black women, uh, black children in America. So I did a book that says, I didn't ask to be born black. I just got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I amplified for, first was girls, and I realized I only have a son. I didn't do one for the boys, so I did one for, and the boy says, I didn't ask to be born black. I'm just a lucky little guy. And so, accenting the positive images of us as black people in America. Not much is done about that. Such negative things about that. But as I said, I'm not gonna complain unless I have a plan. 